everyone, back again on the Eyes Military Channel. The X-44 Manta is an F-22-inspired aircraft that looks very different from anything else. Wears a drawing board, but never flies. This expert explains why it never happened. Way back in 1999, Lockheed Martin had plans to design a stealth fighter in the shape of a Delta, which bypassed the need for a conventional tail section on the F-22. Instead of using a conventional tail section, the base X-44 Manta uses a tail section that has vertical and horizontal control surfaces. The Manta aims to utilize thrust vectoring to control or direct the flow of engine thrust, giving the aircraft the acrobatic capabilities it needs in high-end dogfights. Today, more than two decades later, the same concept appears consistently in nearly all of AIR's official renderings. The Air Force's next superiority fighter is being developed under the Next Generation Air Domination Program, MGAD. The question is whether elements of the X-44 Manta have found their way in America? Last year's top-line fighter, the U.S. Air Force shocked the world with the announcement that it had designed, built, and tested a prototype aircraft of this next-generation air domination program. This new jet promises to be more advanced than any fighter that has ever existed before. Designed to not only counter advanced fifth-generation fighter aircraft, but also to address emerging challenges from America's opponents in Russia and China. But set to dominate them for decades to come, right around the same time, the Air Force also unveiled an image celebrating the anniversary that appears to show the wedge-shaped aircraft without the conventional tail section. This has sparked some questions as to whether the image has anything to do with the long-awaited NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance, announcement. Later, other official drawings came out of the Air Force along with renderings from top airlines such as Lockheed Martin, all showing a similar shape to the aircraft. Some including myself had pointed to the very capable Northrop, but ultimately passed Web 23 Black Widow as a tacit precedent for this tailed design. However, Northrop isn't the only show in town that knows how to build a tailless stealth aircraft. In fact, based on multiple artist renderings and growing practical limitations, the new Short Fuse X-44 Manta fighter may represent an early iteration of what has been or will be at least part of America's next flagship fighter in the skies. X-44 Manta, or multi-axis no-tail aircraft, which is also known as X-44, or more precisely, it is an acronym that means Experimental 44 with the intent behind the concept. After decades of rapid fighter development, few things became standard fare for a capable tactical aircraft, such as a conventional tail section with vertical and horizontal control surfaces. Both the F-22 and later the F-35 adopted a slightly different tail from the fourth generation stationary fighter, as the X-44 Manta aimed to do the same. Maneuvering without the need for all of the tail surfaces or tail sections makes the plane's radar return dramatically reduced, creating an even more stealthy fighter than the F-22 is capable of. So it makes sense that Lockheed Martin partnered with NASA to talk about how to carry the concept. It comes true. 
This partnership has succeeded in creating an acrobatic fighter that can sacrifice the use of its tail for more meaningful maneuvers, relying heavily on the use of thrust vector control to change direction. NASA already has fighter flight paths that have achieved a lot of success using thrust vector control on high-performance fighters, such as the active F-15, which is a modification of the F-15 that uses canard front wings taken from the tail.